Hi guys, um, this is going to be a hopefully a quick Photoshop tutorial on a multiplicity image, which I like to, be, like to call a multi-layer composition. Um, if you've ever seen a photo where where people have say like cloned themselves and it's all in one photo and there's loads of them and stuff like that, then this is for that. Um, I should have done one earlier. I have got one somewhere actually, but I don't know where it is. I should have actually shown you what before I get in, involved with it to show you what one will look like. But trust me, this is really good um, tutorial, so watch this tutorial and um, yeah, and I'll show you how to do it. So I've, what I've just done, I've just literally nipped outside, just outside where I live, taking a few photos. The weather is dull, so the picture's not that good, but I just did it very really quickly just to show you how to do it. So first off, um, let's open Photoshop. Now what you need to do is when you get your images, I only took about six, I think, six images together. Um, you got to make sure it's on a tripod. Um, so the background and everything is always still. Uh, the only thing that's moving really is yourself, is the object. Um, so obviously um, you can just keep taking pictures. Um, it's quite windy as well outside, man. So and I've got a really cheap tripod, so hopefully everything turns out okay. <coughs> so let's get started. What we need to do is when you've got all your images, I'd suggest to put them in a folder and put them on your desktop. I haven't actually done that. Mine's just gone into a folder somewhere else, but just to make it easier, put it in a folder in a desktop. And then what you need to do, you need to go to File. Then you need to go down to scripts and then where it says load, fi uh, load files into stack. Now, this hopefully doesn't take long. Uh, this little box will come up, just click browse and see mine are already there. Mine are opened up in a folder that they save anyway. Um, there's one that I don't want, I don't want that one. So, if I select them all and then once this select that one because I don't want that, and just press OK. Obviously you can find the folder that's on your desktop. There's the pictures, I think there's six, yep. Um, you can click this box here which says attempt to automatically align your images together. I should click that to be honest because my hours are quite windy outside but I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to hope that everything's okay. Because when you usually use a tripod you don't need to click that. Um, so I'm hoping so. So click OK. It should take a little while. If it does take long, I'll fast forward this uh, fast forward this video. But all this is doing is putting all your images on one um, window, really stacking them all. Instead of having, so if you can see my mouse probably instead of having the one folder there, one, two, three, four, whatever, and then you have to put them up together. This um, this will just all open up in one go. Now there we have it. There's all six. To be honest, this one here I don't need. So if I just delete that layer, here, we'll start off with this one. Right, first off, what we need to do, we need to add um, a layer mask to all these photos. So if you just click on the layer and then down on this little button here where it says add layer mask, just click that one and then click on the second layer, click that third layer, click it, fourth and then fifth. So we've all got layer masks. Now we'll start back onto the top one. Now what we need to do, we need to erase me, I'm the subject in this picture. Um, so what we need to do, we'll click the brush. I was finding it hard before, for some reason, my brush just doesn't work properly and I didn't realise my opacity was really down. And I didn't realise, so now it's back to 1% so it's okay. And I've got a message on Skype, but I just have to wait for a second. Now what we need to do, as when you've added a layer mask, because the background is white, so what you need to do to erase is to make sure that you're on black. So make sure that's on black, and if I go over this now, you should be able to erase me. So you just do this, and please don't ask me why you do this, I have no idea. It just works, so if you follow my steps, then you won't go wrong. So if I just erase myself, I'm 
so I do this real, as quick as I possibly can to make the image look a, as decent. Obviously, yourself can take your time. So that, as you can see, I'm totally disappeared. So what we need to do now, as you still got that clicked, the layer clicked, you need to press Control I, so it inverts. I think so. Just Control I, hopefully it works, and there we have it. It worked. So my now my second image has come in. It's what it's done. It's inverted my previous image to my second image, or the second one and the first one, something like that. Anyway. And then what you do, you just do exactly the same same procedure, but make sure you click layer two. So you go to layer two, and you need to erase the next one. So I'll erase it here. Now it's going to be hard for me this one because my second layer is actually overlapping this one. So I'm just let me zoom in. I have to concentrate and do this proper now. You can just see my hat coming through. So what I need to do is hopefully this works out. I'm hoping so. And I know that's gonna that's gonna disappear. Um right, what I need to do it'll be so much easier for you if you don't get in front of each other if in front of yourself. But I'll change that to white. Let's make my brush smaller. And then I need to erase this. It's gonna be my this might confuse you, but I'm gonna just gonna erase the bit that shouldn't be there, which is on the next layer. Hopefully that's it. I'm hoping so. Let's let's see. If we get this bit over over and done with, then everything else will be okay. So just press Control I, and there we have it. It worked. Might have a little. Yeah, there's a little blur and messy bit, but it's okay, I'll leave it as that for now, just for this tutorial. And there's my third one, so make sure you go to the click the third layer, like I said. Make sure it's on black. Just put my brush back up again. And erase. Oh. See, I'm actually colouring in black on myself here because I've not actually clicked the layer the layer mask. When you click the layer, make sure you click the layer mask and change it to black. How many mistakes can I do on one video? Right now, I can erase this person, and it's not going to erase him. But when I say him, myself, the other layer, it's not going to erase that because you're on a different layer. So don't worry about that. Just make sure you get it all okay. When I'm actually doing something, I, I just don't know what I'm talking about, so I'll just ignore anything that I uh, say. <laughs> it's just, and as you can see, with the shadows on the floor and everything, it's it's not looking that good. Now, with stuff like this, when it comes up to stuff like it, always getting a bit better. You can actually see the line and everything. What I do, I'll just drop the opacity down and just skim over the edges. It's so dull outside, it, the, the lighting conditions change every all the time, so it, yeah, I could have done it better if it was sunnier. Um, so now I've done that, all I need to do is just make sure my opacity is back up for my next layer. Just press Ctrl I again, and then my fourth person is coming. And then we'll do the same again, we'll click on this fourth layer, make sure you click it on the layer mask. Make sure it's black and we will erase this one. I'm trying to do it really quick. You can make absolutely great photos and stuff like this. You don't even have to use yourself, you can use other people. Obviously, you can use other people, you can use objects. You just gotta make sure that the fit in the frame, everything's still. Um, so, that one's done that. So, just press Ctrl I again. And then now my. Now this time when it comes to this person, you don't have to do anything, that's it, that's your final image, yeah, or mine it is anyway. All I like to do is to zoom in, have a little quick look, we'll see I've got like a hole inside myself here. Ooh, got a big and all. Change that back to white. So if you ever make a mistake, just change it back to white. Um, and 
so if you see anything that's different let's see if I can notice something just to make it um, not really I'd say around the foot there see but I won't be able to do anything because I'm on that layer so it was that layer I think yeah so if I just change that to black I can make sure his foot goes in there you go and see even his shadow underneath you can do all your retouching and everything, it can take you a while, but if you want your image looking superb, I would um, I'd go for that. And everything, I think that looks great, except obviously about my face there, but I can't do much about that. And that's it. Um, so what, what I usually do now is go to Layer, go to Flatten Image. So there's your image now, your image is done. If you want to do any effects to it, you know, if you want to make it brighter or anything like that, you can do so. Um, what I'd probably do for this image is I don't like where it's open on the right, you know, I'm all, I'm about five, one, two, three, four, five, five times and I'm all on the left, so I'll crop it. Um, I like to keep, sometimes, sorry, save me mic over, that's not, made a big loud noise. Um, I like to keep it all kind of proportioned, like the same width and all that, um, only estimated, so when I cut so much off the one side, I like to cut it off the top as well. Um, so I'd cut about, I'll do, and then go to image, and crop, yeah, that'll do. And then what I like to do is to put the marks and ants all over the image, press copy, control C, which is copy, go to file new, and this is just for border, just make the width a hundred more. Uh, the height is 100 more, so we just change that two to a three, and press OK, and then press Control V to paste. See, so image comes in there, just shrink it down a minute, and there we have it. You can have a whiteboard like that, or if you want it to black, just pick your bucket tool, make sure it's on black, and click black, and there we have it. So. Um, So if you like this tutorial, please comment below um, if you have any questions or anything like that. Uh, what would be good is if you've watched this video and you'll, you, you, know, you go ahead and do one like this, then do a video on it and give me a video response to this video. Uh, it would be great for me to see what you guys have come up with. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned for me with videos. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing some reviews on some photography books soon. Uh, we're including a a guest review from one of my friends on Skype. Um, I'll actually be talking to him on Skype and do a video on that, and he will talk about. Uh, I think I don't know how many books he's got. He might just have the one, but he'll talk about. Pardon me. He'll talk about a book. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we'll be doing some. Board edit Fortnite challenges soon as well. Hopefully, we'll be doing one this week, so they'll be they'll be coming up uh, eventually. So I hope you like this tutorial, guys, and I will see you in my next video. So uh, catch you again, guys.